Hey there, it's the B2, and today's topic for factions is efficiency in raising your mining skill. Now, notice I didn't say how to find diamonds the quickest or how to get the most gold. Like, what we're looking to is specifically raise the MMO or MCMMO level of mining. So, if I do MC Top Mining, you'll take a look in here that uh, I am in second place behind Henley Man 143. Uh, he's at 800, I'm at 745. And so what I've been doing is um, finding the most effective way to raise not only your mining skill, but to also raise your excavation skill, to also raise your repair skill, uh, and then smelting kind of falls along in with all that, right? So they say, B2, how do you get set up to go in the mine? How do you make it the most efficient? How do you get the most out of every visit? And I'm going to show you. This is how I set my inventory up uh, for going to the mine. Now, notice I'm full on, on lapis and redstone already. Uh, I didn't need to enchant anything when I went back. But normally, I'll enchant um, and then drop lapis down a little bit. Um, in our version of factions, it doesn't really sell for a whole lot in the store, and neither does redstone, so they're really not that valuable to me. I'll use redstone and potions, but I got you know several stacks back at the base, and that will last through any alchemy session that I have. So if you notice on here, um, I always use glowstone now. It's just kind of like my trademark for mining. Um, we get so much of it out of the dirt for excavating and everything that uh, we just uh, have started using that as our signature uh, lighting for mining. So uh, you'll notice in here that I have a block of gold, a block of iron. I've got um, some single iron ore and some single gold, as well as some smelted. And this is important for the smelted because what happens here is as you raise your mining skill, it will start auto-smelting ore. Uh, you also want to make sure you have cobblestone, which you have plenty of. This is to fill in any blocks that fall on the floor you knock out incorrectly, or lava, or whatever. Uh, and as well as a water bucket for um, getting rid of lava if you think you need to get across it somehow to see a pocket of diamonds or whatever. So um, you'll notice as I start mining here, I'm going to run right into gravel first thing. Um, so I'm going to knock all this stuff out here. And uh, you get your excavation levels. You can tell I'm at 1,006 now. But look at all the other stuff that's falling out of here. Let's say I wanted to collect bones. I could just get rid of uh, one of the coals and start collecting bones, but I don't, don't really need those. We find some iron. Now, it's important, see? It's just why it's important to have your uh, your water. We're going to go ahead and knock this out here. Let's hop up there and, uh, and make a difference here on this. Um, and so I'll just kind of, what I do is I just kind of get up here next to it turn it into obsidian. So if you did need obsidian for something, you'd uh, you'd have one of those too. Pop a glowstone. Oh, hey, there's some more coal. And so it's important that you never pass up on these for a couple of reasons. One, it's going to raise your player level. And the other is that coal is worth, I think, 150 XP uh, as you mine through. And cobblestone's considerably lower than that. So you're going to want to keep popping through all this stuff. And I'm going to show you super breaker here in a minute I just don't want to pass up any of this delicious experience right there so uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop some lighting in there and keep getting this see you'll notice that mining goes to 746 it's pretty easy a whole bunch of dirt here let's go ahead and just knock this stuff out and you'll see that the glowstone starts popping out of here kind of how you replenish it but uh, this will raise the excavating level really relatively quickly as well and so I'm just going to go ahead and blast out a lot more of this mining up, oh, and you find some gold. That's the other thing of removing dirt and gravel and that sort of stuff, is it pops out a lot of the ores that are around there. And I always tap one or two next to it to make sure there's nothing else in there. So I don't want to give up this glowstone here. So, yep, I've got a stack here, so we're just going to kind of continue to uh, refill glowstone as we use it, right? And you'll notice the dirt's not going to my inventory, and all the typical things that you'd have to get rid of as you're mining through here. Um, you know, and again, I don't want to pass this stuff up here. And we'll just tap those couple right there. Okay, so pretty much cleared this area out. I've been collecting quartz too. That's the floor of my base. So uh, we're gonna hop back down here, pick up that, and we're gonna get back down to. Um, I like to mine at level 12. I just find that it works for me. It's the most efficient. So I'll just check on there. I'm at 14, and we're back to 12 here, right? So. Let's see here, uh, 11. So I'll hop up, my super breaker's up. You activate that by uh, using your right mouse button click and you'll see how uh, quick you can mine here. Ready? So let's get some lighting up and go. And this is good because you get you know, 25 to 50 XP for a lot of the mundane bricks. So you're gonna get a big run on XP right here. And then we're going to uh, just run it all the way through into the dark. You can kind of still, a 
to see a little bit what you're breaking. So each level that you get on here um, does equate to uh, does equate to more time with your super breaker. So you want to always use that as much as possible. Pop this open, and then I come back and say, did I uncover anything worth experience through here? And I did. Here's some redstone. So I just kind of come back and pop those out, get the experience from it. I've got enough of my inventory, so you see I'm not picking it up to waste inventory spaces. And then we keep moving. Here's some more redstone, and I just kind of follow the ores. Um, now they're like, B2, why do you dig? See, it works so fast sometimes that it leaves like a phantom break. So you want to just kind of walk around because it'll get stuck. So I'll just kind of get stuck there. There's a brick there, and if I was to log out and log back in, it would uncover it, but we don't want to worry about that. So now, here's what a lot of people ask me. They're like, B, do you don't mind, like, you know, some people would mine here, and then mine over here, and then we'd find more diamonds, and you'd make a big vein that goes all the way down here, and you'd hop over, and, you know, people do this to find diamonds sometimes. But again, remember in the beginning, I said I'm not really concerned with diamonds. We're concerned about maximizing your efficiency. So I dig the corners, and I, I don't know if this works better. I just always like this better. I just feel like I uncover more stuff like that. A random block that you can catch an edge of and then find a pocket of something, right? You hop down. And you notice that as we look here, it's saying the ore smelted itself on the corner. And you'll see that they're going up here as well as here, right? So the gold's there. It smelted a couple. We're picking up coal. And I'll show you why that's important. We're going to mine for a little bit. And I'm going to continue to show you. Uh, how to be more efficient once you get down here in the mine. Now, the only way that I found that makes mining tolerable and faster is to uh, join a party on here. And uh, you can get the exact numbers off the MCMMO on the wiki site. But uh, you can see we were down over here already because we've got some glowstone out. So when I find something, I kind of snake through these caverns. And I find something that looks familiar, glow, meaning glowstone. I'll come back and I'll start a new corner over here, right? And I'll just kind of corner through here. If you have a group of five or six people, um, what I found works best is you just ram up super breakers on at different times. So you kind of reset them, right? So there's different people on super breaker at different times. You have somebody follow behind the other person with a torch um, or, in my case, glowstone. And they light the path as you super break through, right? And then when yours is up, there's only a few seconds by the time somebody else's is up. Now, this is important to see the creeper here. I'm going to bring it back into the cabin here and let it blow up. Is there anything else? No. So I always kind of like to make the most, right? Um, okay, so let's see. We pop through and boom, we're right on back on another pocket of minerals. As soon as the caves open up like this, it's always a good idea to run through there and just cherry pick the ores out for the experience. Especially if your super breaker's not up. And this is how I have found to be the most efficient way of mining and raising skills. Now, everybody has their own theory on what works best, what levels they find diamonds at the most. And again, it's personal experience, right? So, as I mine through here, I just kind of cherry pick everything through, find the end of the cave. Oh, here we go. So, I don't have, I don't bring a bow with me. So, I'm going to kind of let these guys come over here. I'm just going to pop them into the lava. I don't really care about the XP. And they'll die off, right? So, now, if you wanted to, you could uh, throw a little water up here, click it back, and boom. Get rid of a little bit of the lava. We throw us a little glowstone here, and then I'm, I'm working axes, so when I do have to fight, I'll fight with an axe. Again, look at this ex excavation skill working. Okay, we've got some stuff here, and there's lava, so no problem. You take your bucket, and this is why I carry the bucket with me. We'll zap that lava out, and then boom, you're safe to go for a little bit more. Another run of lava. You know, and then you just kind of work yourself back and forth through all this stuff like that. So this has been the B2. I hope you've uh, found out how I've made this more exciting here and how uh, how mining works. We're going to go over here and say hi to the Enderman that's just kind of chilling over here in the corner. And we're going to look at him because why? We're going to knock him into lava. And, yeah, that's pretty much how we do Enderman now. Thug life, right? Thug life. Um, see, I want to get over here, so let's go ahead and uh, put some water down. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it makes your makes your mining experience faster. Uh, this has been the B2 with an update on factions from the Tech PK server. Have a great day.